something called the Zone 2 Squish. So if you remember, Tesla acquired a German engineering company called Groman Engineering, which is actually a robotics uh, process system integrator, kind of. Basically, they figure out ways on the production line that are being manually done, and they're like, how could we take a robotic approach to automate this process? And so a huge piece of automating the Gigafactory technology process was starting to, I think they called them bandoliers, of, of putting these two little battery things together. And you have to imagine, you have to do this perfectly because if you uh, you know don't connect a cell properly or don't you know every little cell is, is accumulating part of the pack so if one of them isn't corrected connected correctly then you could already have pack degradation it won't hit the, the standard range so everything needs to be perfect and so this is a manual process they have uh, three basically lines that are building these battery packs gigafactory the first two this is a manual process and in the third one uh, Groman engineering has developed a machine that perfectly puts all of these bandoliers of batteries together uh, this is something that Martin was telling me it took five months. Jerome Gein was there. This was a huge effort from the Tesla team. This is one of the constraints of the battery production line was the zone two squish. How do we automate this? And they finally did it with Groman Engineering. I literally saw the production line where it was being done manually, saw the Groman Engineering line where it's being done perfectly by the robot. I mean, it's incredible to see uh, the pace of innovation going on at Tesla, how they just do not give up. They're automating that process. And remember, what's so fascinating to me is that the zone two squish, I think it's like the best analogy for this whole video is that that piece of technology is so dope and Tesla's nailed it down, but they haven't actually, you know, they've only built one production line with that. So when you think about the next uh, factory they're building in China, all of these new to production technologies are going to be able to be utilized in this new line. And we're, we haven't seen the full financial value from these innovations for Tesla to hit yet, but they're already there and they're already working.